Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I am so excited because today we get to go over another cool new concept, which is really not, not too difficult, don't worry. Hey, yo, you guys will do fine. But um, let's see, where did we leave off? We left off with me having to hook up the last two pressure plates. Remember, we hooked this one up and it was all fine and dandy. That one's good. But um, we needed to hook up the last two pressure plates, which I did. I, I definitely hooked up these these last two pressure plates. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, make sure, make sure that when you hook up the pressure plates that the signal is off and that you're only using repeaters. Make sure that the signal is off whenever you um, come up to one of these junctions. I guess you can call it, but uh, anywhere where uh, the, the redstone intersects with another line of redstone, make sure that it's off there. Make sure that it's off there. I mean, you can use any, you can use inverters and so that you, you only end up using like, like two repeaters or one repeater, but um, you don't have to do the compact repeaters like I did. I just, you know, tend to like the aesthetic. Well, it's not even that aesthetic, but it's just kind of nice. Um, and then I have like so much redstone, it doesn't even matter, but uh, okay. So yeah, um, make sure that, that that signal is off at that point. And then um, what you're gonna do is the, the two lines, if you have two lines of redstone, if you have one line of redstone, you don't even have to worry about this, but if you have two lines of redstone, what you do is at the end, you're gonna conjoin both lines of redstone. You're gonna conjoin both lines of redstone like you see right here. You're gonna conjoin them and then you're gonna uh, hook them into an inverter. You're gonna hook them both into a single inverter, okay? And then that inverter is gonna hook into the torch because uh, track the track that we have up here, <clears throat> its default is to, um, is to change when the torch below is on. Its default is to change, it's, is to change and go onto the platform when the torch below is on. That's its default. It does not like to um, do it the other way. And I tried it. I tried to get the, the track to default a different way, but it wouldn't work. So um, just make sure that you have your your stuff like that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go upstairs where I'm going to show you a brand new little mechanism, a cool new mechanism. I am. Wow. I took damage. That took forever. OK. So um, coming upstairs, and I really need to eat something, uh, but it's okay, it's okay. I'll, uh, two hearts is fine for this. At least I hope, hopefully I don't die. But we're gonna come upstairs to this. This is what I wanna call the dispenser, okay? This is what um, is going to poop out a cart onto the, the line once, uh, once um, it's going to poop a cart out onto the line once that pressure plate is hit. So this, the once that pressure plate is hit, actually um, what I should do is I should hook it up to a pulse generator, remember like in the last series, and then that way when we leave that pressure plate, then then the, the cart will, uh, will poop out and um, we'll have another cart there. So yeah, that's, that's probably what we'll end up doing. Um, and then I'll just hook it up into the, the redstone wire that's pretty much already, you know, like at the wall over there. And then I'll just repeat the, tor the signal up. But don't worry about it. Um, for right now, I just want to go over this dispenser and what it is. This dispenser is um, one of uh, Ethos Labs inventions. Uh, it uh, It is pretty much a gate that controls... Um, whatever you want to put on the boat. If you put something on the boat, and it, it's kind of buggy because we're in multiplayer, but you can put anything you want on the boat. You can put an item, you can put a minecart, which we're going to do. You can put, um, you can put a minecart with a chest is, I, I don't know. You can do whatever the hell you want. But, uh, once, once this redstone line becomes active, then the boat will move and then the items will fall through and then get rid of the signal to reload it. So really all you need to do is pulse this line and it will uh, move the boat. So that's great. We don't even have to use any like uh, logic gates or anything. The, the boat just analog, figures that out uh, via analog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of show you, give you a little demonstration demonstration of how this works. Okay, well, what we have to do is we have to make sure that 
the minecart can only go in 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 like one place. You have to make sure that the minecart can only go in one place. So what you do is you place a block here, and then you surround um, the line. Cool. You surround the line with uh, with blocks too, so that the minecart can't go left, it can't go right, and it can't go too far forward. So we just got to constrain the area at which the minecart can go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost it. And you see it just falls directly on top of the boat. Falls directly on top of the boat. <clears throat> now I happen to have made this right above the pressure plate. So when I pulse this, cart falls directly through. And there we go. That's how we're going to load our system. So um, the important things for you to grasp uh, are, are how this works, how this works, first of all. It's really simple, really simple. You just need one line of redstone and, uh, and you know, a little bit of cart trickery. That's really, the, the track is really where um, the trickery comes in. But, um, oh, what am I doing? Stupid thing. Okay. But uh, uh, the, the, main, the main point to, to note here is that this line is going to come from a cartridge. This line right here is going to come from a cartridge. So um, we need to hook this line up to our cartridge. We also need to build two more of these, two more of these. I built the middle one, I believe. The middle, middle. I really need something. I'm at half a heart. Yeah, so there will be another one right here, another one right here. And I'm hoping that I have enough space to do this. This is why I built them so far apart, the docks. So I'm really hoping I have enough space to do this. Um, I'm actually kind of kind of stressing that. Ooh. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, plenty of space, plenty of space. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to build this real quick before we hit our 10 minute mark. And what we're gonna do, first thing you're gonna do, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stand directly above the pressure plate. <clears throat> Make sure you have glass or some other type of material to tell you where the pressure plate is. I like to use glass, you can use wood, you can use cobblestone, anything that's just different from what the flooring is. And then um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, uh, up and to the right of the the pressure plate you're gonna go directly diagonal the pressure plate and you're gonna break the floor right there and place a cobblestone piece there or whatever you're using to build and then at this point you're gonna break the glass above the pressure plate make sure that you're not standing on the glass and um, you're going to place blocks around this cobblestone Entirely, you're going to entirely surround the cobblestone except for at the point where you broke the glass. You're going to leave that open and leave that open. That's where the cart's going to drop through. Next, you're going to surround the entire cobblestone layer with uh, more cobblestone. You're going to create another casing. Yep, 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 yep. And the hardest thing to do about building this is to get the door correct. That's the hardest part I had. Getting the door correct was a pain in the ass. I had to build like 20 boats. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to place a sign here. And then you're going to place your door, which I don't have, but am going to make. I'm also going to make a boat. You know, while I'm at it, I'm going to get some water because that's important too. Okay. <clears throat> so the door, this is very important. And I really recommend that you play around with the door and the boat to figure out how it works. But you, you want to place it, um, if you want a, a little heuristic for it, um, you can uh, heuristic. I don't even think that's the right word. It's, um, it's 
starts with an H, but it's like the opposite of an algorithm. Uh, I'm just going to go with heuristic. Um, what you do is you, you place the door perpendicular to the sign. You place the door perpendicular to the sign with the space between the door and the next block in the direction of the sign. So see how there's a space in between the door and the next block? Make sure that that, that space is in the, in the direction of the sign. So the door wouldn't be in this this little this side of the, the, the dugout rectangle. It'd be on this side that we have it on. Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to place some blocks here. And then don't place a, a block over the door yet. Do not place a block over the door quite yet. Do not place a block over the door quite yet. You're going to put your boat right in front of the sign. Put your boat right in front of the sign. Now you place a, uh, a block right over the over the door. And then you put water. You put water um, in the, the block where the, the door and the sign intersect. Or, you know. Just uh, make it so that the water will flow back into the front of the sign. Sort of copy me. And then that's what it should look like. That's what it should look like. Water should flow into the sign. So the 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 lower part of water should be should be going towards the sign, the front of the sign. Okay. So now all you have to do is create that. Put another block not there but there. Don't actually need that. Um, I'm lagging. Definitely lagging. Whenever you see the boats just sliding across the floor, you know you're lagging. Okay. And then really, all you have to do from here is just make make some track. that forces the minecart to drop in. Sort of like a cartridge. It sort of follows the same principle of a cartridge where you have to constrain the cart to only go in one direction. So really that's all we need. I just built this entire loader over here to, to, to sort of emulate a, um, a boost that a cart would get while coming from the cartridge. That's all that I really did. Um, not hard at all. So. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to break this down, I'm going to stop the recording, and um, in the next episode, um, I'll build I'll build the last water gate. You guys don't have to worry, you guys do that on your own, and I'll do it on my own. I'll build the last water gate. Um, you guys, you guys, uh, in the next episode, I believe we're going to work on the modular cartridge concept. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure yet whether we're going to, we'll probably work on the modular cartridge concept. And then... Um, once we have that entirely done, then we'll get the redstone up here from the pressure plates and start playing around. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.